to my left you'll see a Polaris slingshot I really wish people would quit considering those things motorcycles they're cars that is a car sorry to burst your bubble hey Mr. Snowcat I can't remember what that car is called but I know we have a dealer for him here in Kansas City uh, Tesla there we go that's that's the word I'm after So it's this view again, <laughs> coming home. And so last night I tried to record a little vlog on my way uh, into work. Just kind of a little life update. And I get all the way to work and find out I didn't even hit the record button on my GoPro. It was just on, not recording anything. Yeah, that sucks. So anyway, yeah, so I tried to record a little life update, and I'll kind of throw it in here for you. So, um, my stickers, decals, super slow right now. Um, not only do I not have a whole lot going, I don't have a whole lot going out because, fuck these lights. I swear to God, I hit every one of them fucking red every morning. Every fucking morning. Fuck you, traffic lights. Anyway, yeah, so we've been busy and I haven't had time to cut some decals and so I've been slow getting them out. So anyway, we've been busy trying to get our house on the market to sell. Uh, long story short, my neighbor had someone interested in buying. My neighbor signed a contract. My neighbor backed out. Uh, neighbor's realtor came to us and asked us if we were interested in selling. We said yes, we just needed to do some renovations first. Uh, she gave us time to do our renovations. We got our renovations done and our house sold. That's the cliff notes. Anyway, so now I'll be busy packing my shit. And unfortunately, I have to move in with my in-laws for about six months until me and the wifey can get more money saved up to put down on a house. <laughs> but in the meantime... I will still be able to do decals. They said they had a place where I could keep my cutter and operate if I needed to. So, yay for me. Uh, the other thing I was going to bring up is uh, I made a, a video here a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, five weeks ago, I don't know when. Anyway, recently. God damn, lady. Are you stopping back here? Anyway, the topic of that video was bike envy and how I'm a jealous little bitch because I'm on this little 500 and everyone else is getting new bikes and I'm just a jealous little bitch. So, from here on out, instead of being a jealous little bitch, I'm being proactive. I'm doing something about it. You just about hit a car. That's cool. And, uh... I am going to be putting away some money. About every pay period, I'm going to put away $80. I get paid twice a month. That should be $160 a month. Which is roughly a payment for the bike that I want. So, I'm saving up for one of two bikes. We will decide when I get the money. I do not want to finance something. Just to answer all you guys in the comments that are going to ask... Well, why don't you just go out and finance a bike? If you're going to save $150 a month, why don't you just pay the, the, the finance company $150 a month? Simple answer. I don't want to borrow money. Me and my wife are trying to become debt-free, slowly and slowly. However, we don't want to live with, my, with her parents forever, so we are buying another house. That's why we're living there, is to save money to buy another house. Okay, where am I at? Bikes, yes. Right now, I'm looking at two different bikes. This could be subject to change in the future depending on what's available. The two bikes right now I'm looking at are a Honda CB1000R and a BMW S1000R. They both make my wiener feel funny. So... Woohoo! Those are the bikes I'm going to go with. Yeah, those are the two bikes I'm looking at. Like I said, that is subject to change based on what's available when I have the funds to purchase one of those bikes. 
However, earlier this year there were uh, two CB1000Rs available. These people are magnificent twats. If I could lane split, I would, but I cannot. Anyway, there were two or three CB1000Rs available on Craigslist used for quite a bit less than what they went for from the dealership like they depreciated bad like in two years they were half of what these people bought them for and with next to no miles because people in Kansas City just don't ride their bikes like people in other places do a high mileage bike in Kansas City is like 30,000 miles yeah go figure please don't kill me people behind me So totally wish I could lean split. Yeah, you go too fast and it startles me. So anyway, if I can find a used CB1000 single I, I will buy it for the cash that I may or may not have. Hopefully we'll have. But anyway, that is my plan. No more naked whining bitch. Woo, your Civic's cool. No more whiny naked bitch guy on his 500. I'm being proactive. I'm doing something, damn it. But, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below. Oh, come on, you fucking. Come on. Come on. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think about the two bikes that I want? Do you have a goal? What are you saving for? Anyway guys, if you like the video, please leave some likes. That's always appreciated. Share it on any social medias you wish to share it with. Share it on with whomever. Yeah. And <clears throat> I am going to end this video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.